hello guys welcome back to the vfx showdown and in this tutorial we're going to take a look how to create the anamorphic bokeh effect in octane so if you don't know what is the anamorphic bokeh i will put some images on the screen you will see so basically it is the blockbuster cinematic film style look and as you can see the bokeh shape is not a circle is like a circle stretching on the in y direction so as you can see so this this looks is very cinematics and everyone want to do this in a cg so let's see how we can create in octane in cinema 4d so as you can see we have this scene and let me just refire this scene to the octane okay so let me set this to scale to fit so as you can see we have these two elements and I want the anamorphic bokeh but currently by default as you can see if I select that area and keep this in a render. So as you can see if I zoom in so as you can see so this is the circle bokeh effect so as you can see this is not a anamorphic in octane you can do this pretty easily as you can see we have this octane camera and uh, octane camera tag select the camera tag and Go inside the thin lens and as you can see we have the autofocus by default it is on but you have to do you have to disable it and in your octane live viewer we have this peak focus uh, button just click on click on it and i'm gonna focus on this area click it and it will focus and let me disable the render region so it will render the full frame so as you can see now this this element is in focus and so now you can see the bokeh is circle it is not anamorphic to make an anamorphic so as you can see in your thin lens settings first you have to change the aperture aspect ratio so it's by default is one if you change this to two you will get the anamorphic lens bokeh so and just and the aperture edge set it to three and bokeh side eight and more so you will get a rounded edges so now if i compare this to the previous one i'm gonna show you so as you can see so if you can't see the difference so let me compare this here is a cool button called store render buffer and it will store this render and i can change this to by default one and this is also one and now you can see the different difference between the circular one and the anamorphic so as you can see so this is not an anamorphic so as you can see this is a circle bokeh shape but if i swipe you can see this is the anamorphic one so as you can see so this is not this is anamorphic so as you can see a uh, very different very noticeable different so let me show you the better way so let's uh, drop a sphere in a scene and let's move this let's scale this down and let's put this sphere into a cloner and let's select the cloner and go to the object and change the mode to radial and change the plane type to xz and increase the radius so let's select this sphere and scale down slightly more okay so I'm gonna show you the bokeh on this sphere so you can understand the anamorphic look. So I made a material for that. So I'm gonna just drag and drop to the cloner, and now you can see the bokeh shape. I'm gonna select my camera tag and let's increase the aperture aspect ratio to two and h aperture h to three, and the bokeh side is eight. And now you can see the anamorphic look so if i increase the aperture let's see, maybe nine now you can see so we have more shallow depth of field so let me just isolate that part so now you can easily see this bokeh shapes as you can see this is not a circle shape anymore so as you can see the shape so this shape is everyone wants the anamorphic and this is how you can do in Octane in Cinema 4D.
Here, if you notice this part, let me go. So at this point, tutorial is over. I'm gonna show you the upcoming tutorial. Let me zoom in on that. So in the next tutorial, we're going to create this texture. So as you can see, this metal and grunt texture in Octane using a procedural method. So if you apply this uh, texture to any object, let me show you what I mean. If I'm, I'm gonna disable the root and uh, blob also and let's delete this cloner and the sphere okay so if i drop a cube and if i apply the same texture as you can see on that pump water pump so let me right click on this ipr window and select material so it will select where is this and this one I'm gonna just drag and drop so as you can see the edges is grunge and you get the same look so this maybe we going to see how how I did so let me show you so as you can see pretty good and you can definitely change the color and see how you want so let me show you the material so this is the mix material obviously and this is what we're going to create so so this is the material setup so you can see the note view how i did that so this may be the next tutorial so let's see if you really want to see please let me know in the comment below and i will going to make a tutorial so go back so as you can see and as you can see the anamorphic bokeh is also here so as you can see the stretched bokeh effect see this bokeh so thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you want more cinema 4d and octane tutorial i have a lot of cool stuff to show you in octane and hope you like it and we will see you in a way next tutorial take care